submitting my last assignment. I am, I'm, I'm done with all my assignments. Why does this always happen to me? Why am I sad and mad if it need be? Why am I in my feelings? Depressed and alone, I've been feeling lonely. Thinking about one girl who never thought I'd miss him. Late at night, I can't be blinking. So in the light, I can't get caught slipping. My heart's been hitting, my lungs been coughing and spitting. My brain's torn from her image, but somehow she just doesn't get it. She doesn't get that she's all of my wishes. Doesn't get that she's all of my riches. I try to mind my business, but when I see her smiling, I just glisten, and when I see her talking, I try to listen She said she loves me, but I know that she didn't, I'll never get it Told me to move on, but she just doesn't get it, I'll never get it She never get it, she just doesn't get it, I'll never get it Told me, uh, never get it, I'll never get it, never get it, yeah <laughs> Today I felt the test yep. I didn't take it in the first place though Cause my alarm didn't go off for class Or maybe it did but I That was me flying back to Moscow. I'm back in Moscow now. Again, I haven't posted for a long time and I would love to go into detail about what's been happening, but I'm kind of in a um, hung up state right now. I, I I don't know what's going on in my life right now. I, I know that I have submitted my very last assignments for uni, so I'm pretty much done with uni, which is cool, but I still don't know if I'm accepted onto my master's degree, so I don't know if I should be looking for a job or if I should be waiting to get into this. Yes. I'm, I'm just waiting. Everything is um, super indefinite right now, but one thing is for sure, this is my first video in 4K, except this part of the video that I'm filming on my camera, which still films in 1080p. Also, I found it quite impressive that when I moved into the house where I lived in Bangor, I had five boxes of things with me. When I was moving out, I had one box of personal items, which I found pretty impressive. I just read a book by Dave Bruno, which is the 100 thing challenge, where the author counted 100 personal things that he would live with for a year. Personally, I don't think I'd be able to do that. I have way too many tiny cables and like adapters for electronics. The author, for example, he counted his wedding ring, he counted his pen that he was writing with a pencil. These three things are already three out of the hundred things. I'm actually interested, would you be able to do the 100 thing challenge? Would you be able to eliminate everything except 100 things and live with that? It's interesting. So as I have already mentioned, I have finished all my assignments and I've left Bangor where I've studied for three years and I'm not coming back for graduation because it's slightly too expensive for me to go all the way back there for a couple days up to a week to stand in a gown is it called a gown i think it's called a gown throw a hat in the air and as i'm not going back i think this is gonna be my last video on banger some form of a tribute to all banger students upcoming banger students prior to arriving in banger back in first year i had huge troubles with directions and getting around Bangor. If you spend two weeks in Bangor, you have a perfect perception of how to get it around from place to place, but during the first two, three days, you have no clue. Like when I arrived, I've been told to go to a couple meetings and one of them was in Bramble Building and the other one was in Main Arts. And if you've never been to Bangor, you probably have no clue what these things mean. So in case you are like me, you arrive in Bangor after all the tours have taken place. Here is a video that I myself would have found super useful before arriving in this little city. Especially if you're an international student, you will most likely arrive by train. You will arrive at this platform, walk up the steps and turn right. When you exit the train station, you will see three roads. And now I'm realizing that it's starting to sound like a fairy tale. So let me show you what it looks like from above. Here you see three roads. On the left, you have Holyhead Road. In the middle, you have Daniel Road. And on the right, you have the station road that leads to High Street. This part is called Upper Bangor. 
and this is College Road. This is the main arts building. This hill on the left is called Roman Camp. The Bangor Pier is right behind it. Let's start with the middle road. So let's say you walk down the middle road. Uh, let's go through the things on the map real quick. This is Bramble Building, ECW, which stands for Environmental Center Wales. Then there is the Memorial Building, the Chemistry Tower, Weldon, Thoday, uh, Pontio and Main Arts. If you happen to live up in the St. Mary's Halls of Residence, this is the hill to climb. To get to St. Mary's Village, you will need to turn right when leaving the train station and follow this road. Over here, at a pub called Varsity, no, at least that's what it's been called for the past three years here, I don't know if they're gonna change it in the future. You will need to turn right and walk up Lonpopti, that's the name of the road. You will need to walk up the hill until you see St. Mary's Village. If you keep following the road without turning down to St. Mary's, uh, you will end up at High Street. Uh, that's the equivalent of a city centre here in the UK. Oh, and this is the cathedral. Because of the cathedral, Bangor is a city. Not a town. A city. If you live on the Friedrich side halls of residence, you will need to turn left when leaving the train station onto Holyhead Road until you see a church. At the church, you need to turn left and you will see Fred's side. If you live or study by the normal side or you study in the School of Ocean Sciences, you will need to turn around and walk a pretty far distance to reach your destinations, especially over by the Menai Bridge. On the opposite side of the train station, you will end up on Carnarvon Road. This is where a lot of students live, by the way, and especially second and third year students. If you keep walking down that road, you will end up at a few large stores and finally in the town of Carnarvon. I think that should be it. I believe I picked a very beautiful day to film. In the description, I have attached the official map the university provides with all the university buildings and I've just given you some pinpoints on where some of the buildings are because the university has a lot of them throughout town. If you know somebody who's going to Bangor soon, consider showing them this video because I would have found it very useful when arriving. That That's the reason why I'm making it. I'm in Moscow right now. As I mentioned, I will have more videos up soon. I promise.